Welcome to Electron Line, and the next topic in our series on thermodynamics is the PV diagram. We've seen it before, but we're going to see it in a little bit different light, and related to the first law of thermodynamics. So let's write down the first law of thermodynamics. It is the change in internal energy is equal to the heat added to the gas minus the work done by the gas. And again, it's very important to say that sentence. So again, the change in the internal energy of the gas is equal to the work uh, the heat added to the gas minus the work done by the gas. And it never hurts to write down the equation PV equals nRT, which is the equation of state uh, for the state variables of the gas. Now, where do we start? Well, we're supposed to find the change in internal energy, we're supposed to find the heat added to the gas, and we're supposed to find the work done by the gas. Now, the change in internal energy that's fairly straightforward because we know that delta U is equal to N C sub V delta T. Notice it's always C sub V when we're related to the change in internal energy. Since we know that the, the temperature change from temperature 1 to temperature 2, because these are what we call isotherms, we can say that this is equal to N C sub V times T2 minus T1. Since T2 is larger than T1, then we can say that the change in internal energy is positive. How about the heat added to the gas? Q is equal to question mark. Well before we do that let's calculate the work done by the gas because that's fairly straightforward. We can see here that's a case where the pressure remains constant. We know that it's equal to the area underneath the curve. We can say that the uh, work done by the gas is equal to the pressure times the change in the volume which happens to be the area of that rectangle and so that would be equal to the pressure uh, let's call it P1 multiplied times the change in volume which is uh, V2 minus V1 alright and finally we can apply the first law of thermodynamics to find Q so now we use this over here to find Q because we can see that since delta U equals Q minus W we can see that Q is equal to delta U plus W by moving the W over to the other side so this is equal to delta U plus W now delta U we calculate right here which is N C sub V times T2 minus T1 and we, we then add to that the work done which is P1 times V2 whoop, let's do that again V2 minus V1 so even though we didn't use an example with numbers you can simply see that there's a very close relationship between delta U, work done, and Q, and sometimes we can find one of the unknowns by simply realizing that I can calculate the other two unknowns and then add them or subtract them together to get the third unknown. So here you can see the nice relationship between the PV diagram and how to use the first law of thermodynamics to find the change in internal energy, the heat added to the gas, and the work done by the gas. And remember, if Q comes out negative, that means heat is removed from the gas, and if W ends up negative, that means work is done on the gas instead of work done by the gas. But anyway, here you go. There's a good start.